This video is going to show you a basic overview of the patch maker so that you can start building your quilt today. The tools are on the left side, the patch is on the right side, above the patch, the patch title, and below the patch, the undo and redo buttons, as well as the save and cancel buttons. Let's go through the tools one by one, starting with the change background tool. Anytime that you see this change color button, along with a, a colored box above or below it, you can click either of them to select a new color. A color picker will pop up, from which, if you move your mouse over the color swatch, you can click to select a new color for the tool. Let's add an image. Click the browse button and select an image from your computer. I have a picture of a boxer dog. Once the image loads, you can click and drag it to move it on the patch. Likewise, you can click and drag a border to, re to resize it. As long as you see the red dashed border around the image, you can either resize or move the image on the patch. Let's add some text. Enter your text into this box here. and make sure that you have a good color selected. When you move your mouse over the patch, you'll see a preview of what it'll look like if you, put, if you place the text here. Click to place the text. Let's draw something. Select a new color and click and drag on the patch to draw. You can also fill. Let's select a new color. When you click somewhere on the patch, it'll make that place along with the surrounding areas that are the same color, the new color that you've selected for the fill tool. Let's add a border. To set the border width, click and drag the blue dot on the slider. You'll see a preview of the border width and color to the right of that. Click to change the color. Click the Add Border button to add the border to the patch. The erase tool acts on the foreground of the patch. If you erase all, it will delete the entire foreground. Otherwise, you can select a brush size and selectively erase. For instance, I can remove this text here. I liked that text there, so I'm going to bring it back by clicking on the undo button, undoing my last action. Let's change the transparency. Click and drag this blue dot along the slider to the left to make the foreground more transparent. If there are any areas on your patch that are only partially transparent, then dragging the blue dot, blue dot to the right will make them less transparent. On my patch, there are no such areas. Let's leave it at no change because I like the way that my patch is now. Let's add a patch title. When I save and add this patch to my quilt, and when I move my mouse over that patch, then this title will pop up where my mouse is. Now we can save and add this patch to our quilt. This video has shown you a basic overview of the patchmaker. Start experimenting and have fun.